Are you checking the bracket? Double check. What is that name? Oh, okay, there we go. It's ink. Yeah, it is. It was something else for a second. <laughs> so we got the Legend of Glintendo fighting off against Inky. Inky rocking the Mario brother over here. So fun, fun little matchup we got going. Omar's gonna be doing a lot of fireballs in the distance while she gets in there. Tries to, you know, open up a little bit, but joining me here on the mic is the one and only Purple Haze! Hello, everybody. Purple How's Haze. What's going on, Haze of the Purple? You know, it's, it's going. Hello, everyone. Zyvon here. This is uh, my last Smash 4 Zeno. Hey, welcome. So, happy is that to be a here. Robin hoodie? It is. Wow. I have a Shulk hoodie, but I never wear it in public. Nice. Yeah. I always wear this in public. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think that blends in a little bit more. The Shulk one's a little bit more ridiculous. <laughs> so, here we go. Mario vs. Sheik. Nothing really too crazy has happened so far. Just a... Uh, just a grand all fun all neutral on FD. Oh, Good yeah. old final destination. Good stage for Sheik. Uh, I don't think Mario really has a bad stage though. So yeah, I mean, super important. honestly, same thing for Sheik. It's just like true. There's some characters in this game that you can just play on any stage. And I think Sheik is noticeably better on Smash Bros or FD in a lot of matchups, but regardless, there isn't exactly one where she's weak. Yeah. That was good uh, patience right there from Glenn. He saw him trying to trap Inky a little bit, but uh, Inky escaped without any harm coming to him. Seeing a lot of these uh, not too well good. spaced forward airs from Sheik, but he's able to get the spot dodge before the punish comes out from Inky. Going for a lot of shield grabs. There's one. It's because Mario gets a lot of him grab. He had the air dodge, but he didn't want to commit to the super jump punch. I'm not sure if it would have killed at that point. Uh, would have done some damage. Would've yeah. Stole some pocket change now. Ooh, Buy your lunch for tomorrow. It's always important. That fireball's going to mess with his recovery. Sometimes a Mario will shoot up a fireball like that, not to add on damage, but just to like mess, you know, throw off the rhythm. That was, oh my god, he wanted that roll so bad. Now he's just up smashing. Okay, he gets hit by the if he there. Okay, now listen to me. If he would have kept up smashing and didn't commit to that jump, it would have connected. He would have got the kill. If, if if you're Mario and you're not up smashing, why aren't you up smashing? Never forget the time anti uh, up smash five times in a row to beat Ninja Link's Bayonetta. Yeah. Week one of Bayo. Like literally like day four. Yeah. Mario up smash is a good character. Oh! <laughs> As I Call said. Call him out! That is, that is the best smash attack in this game. Okay, I like the use of the cage to trying to like stall in the air. Also, honestly, this is a good round one match. Not gonna lie. It is. And that was a good read from Glenn, and it still didn't kill. Sheik, uh, Sheik kill power is not not exactly the best. Struggles a little bit, but now, you know, he's got him at 175, literally like a forward tilt at this point could potentially kill. But without Rage, I don't, I don't know oh, for sure. Oh, you're right, yeah. Oh, right. the forward smash would have killed if it connected. You never know on that one, though. Yeah, you'll see Sheik. I, I'm noticing this a lot from Glenn coming out. He's spamming that forward smash, desperate to get that to land. Also, Glenn, the Link main, uh, used to having plenty of trouble in neutral with that character. Not used to having any trouble killing. That is not one of Link's problems. Yeah. Uh, but Link Mario is, is really rough, so. Yeah, forward tilt's not going to be able here. to kill on Final Destination. My man's rocking the Legend of Zelda characters. Probably a fan of Breath of the Wild, I think. I would, I would think so. It's a great game. My man's at 201. Yeah. Now Ford will probably kill. No. no you no. are it's stale now. It's stale, and he's at almost zero rage. Uh, you know, rage starting at 35. So. Now what's good? Functionally for, no rage. What's good for Glenn is that he hasn't taken too much damage. <laughs> so even if he gets. Oh wait, here we go. As I say it, Inky's coming out with the up airs. Super careful. I'm not, not agreeing with that forward smash. Very greedy to go for it, would not have killed even with maximum rage. That super jump punch is going to send him a little flying. Just dash attack. Okay. If you can punish one of these with a dash attack, Sheik dash attack will kill at this point. So, uh, strong hit in air will also probably kill. Oh, good pivot grab though. He's at 80 all of a sudden. Don't He'll die to an up smash here, most likely. <laughs> what? This character cool, I man. don't even know what to think. <laughs> Glenn literally died the two charge smash attacks. One that was up, one that was forward. He, I think he was a little bit spooked because he chilled on that platform for a so, while. He had plenty of time yeah. to react to that. Like he just went for the down angled one there. Yeah. So I mean, you got to remember that a lot of characters can angle their board smashes, Mario included. You're not gonna switch over to Link. I guess he doesn't really like the Link versus Mario matchup. And I, I don't know what wouldn't? he thinks about it specifically, but the Link mains that I know are certainly not fans of it. Yeah. You know, Link, one of the easiest characters, to just grab and oh look, you're at 80. I guess he just goes to so. show that Mario Odyssey was better than Breath of the Wild. I guess. Hot takes with Austin. Is that uh, a hot take? I think it's a real take. No, I, I, it's, you know, it could go either way. I, I, like, I agree. I didn't like Breath of the Wild that much. I, I got. I think they're both I got great. I got bored. I didn't finish it, but only because my gamepad charger died, and I have it on Wii U, so I actually can't. Yeah, I feel uh, it. 
Anyway, we're back on FD here. Uh, good pick. I don't think the stage is a problem. It's just uh, this first stock is so important in this matchup because both characters are so good at running away with a lead. Uh, Sheik, of course, has so much trouble killing without rage or, or with rage sometimes. But uh, we saw we saw last match how uh, Glenn was able to win neutral plenty of times, just didn't manage to convert anything into a kill. You gotta get creative with your kills sometimes. You know, like I always think of like like Void, Mr. R, heck, even like a, a local unknown. You know, they're right. really, they get really creative with their kills. They're good at like setting up opponents to get them into the like, tempered up smash. I think Glintendo could probably take a page out of their book. And I think another thing is there's like there's a percent range where you can get a lot of like 50/50s, even if the up throw one isn't really a 50/50 on most characters. You can still get a lot of hits that'll 50/50 into an up air or a vanish. And once they get past that percent, you know, once you get someone at you know 140, 150, where F tilt won't kill yet, but your your setups don't really work either. That's where Sheik really has the most trouble, because she's got her, her own kill confirms with Nair bouncing fish or things like that. There's just there's a certain point between when those work and when the random hits will kill, like fair or F tilt. And there's one thing that she can do really well, which is what Glenn is displaying for us: playing safe. Both these players are playing incredibly safe right now, not really committing to hardly anything. Look at that. Like the smallest thing they commit to is a jab and try to get a read off of it. Delete it with the neutral. Like no smash attacks are being thrown out by Mario this time around. Glenn's just gonna play the safe game, go off stage to try to connect that needle storm a little bit too late. Gets caught by a super jump punch. But it's still applying this corner pressure. Cannot you escape. right there, and that one will kill. There we go. That's all you had. You, just the DI. you were talking yep. about earlier. Just read, wait for the 50 50, get the up air out of the air dodge. But you know what? Inky's gonna respond. Not even wait for the air dodge. Just go for the forward air outright. Glenn getting sent down to the dumpster zone. It has never stopped bothering me that that's just true sometimes. <laughs> every, every time I get hit by it, I ask, like, oh, what should I do about that? And they say, oh, oh DI this way. I'm like, well, I mean, if you did. DI in, you're going to die. Like, let's be real. Well, if you DI, there are some characters where it's just true. I don't actually know offhand if Sheik is one of them. Um, I know from personal experience, Olimar is very much one of them. <laughs> but like, there, there's Olimar. definitely a lot of characters that just get true comboed by that sometimes. Yeah, but um, true or not, Glintendo getting dumpster down there going into our second stock. 50 versus 63%. Not too big of a lead again. They're both playing incredibly safe. Good pivot grab coming from Inky. Starting to attack on some damage. But again, I feel like we've seen this a lot. Glintendo just applying corner pressure against Inky, not really giving him any sort of stage control. <laughs> table, they've they've danced around thing. each other and thrown out so many moves, and they've taken like 10% combined in the last 30 seconds. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying about them. But just play, they don't want to commit to anything. Unsafe needles right there, but not that much of a punish. Good DI. Yeah, DIing gl forward and then back on the up air. Confused the combo there. Yeah, wanted to mix up uh, Inky's follow up. Trying to space out the forward air a little bit. Just runs up, up, smash. That's going to so be good. Inky coming out with a 2-0 victory over Glentendo, sending him down to the loser's bracket. Mario. Round one. That was, a, that was a heck of a round one. 92. It's OK. Guys. Wow. Yeah. How's it going? Anyway, hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Xeno Thanksgiving. Uh, does one have a number, or is it just Xeno Thanksgiving? Xeno 136. Nice.